Okay. You ready? We're going to have a good conversation. All right. Um, I'm in the CFA here. I actually wasn't here on the night of the Saturday. Um, I had a young bloke and a, another older bloke in the support vehicle and uh, our captain told me that I was responsible for him to get him out so I took him out to Yay and didn't come back in until the Sunday morning but Reese here um, along with a number of other people was uh, instrumental in uh, <coughs> defending the basically the core infrastructure of Flowerdale um, the pub, the school, the hall and I don't really know what it was like um, Apart from the fact that it must be pretty full on, but you were here, mate. Yeah, you were here pretty late. Mm -hmm. yeah, didn't yeah, come half through. Or so. yeah, yeah, well, our, our fire uh, at that stage that came through, I guess, from a couple of fronts here from, uh, right. from the Murrindindi fire, and um, the main front, well, I suppose, what I call the main front from King Lake, didn't hit us until much later in the evening. Yeah. But yeah, we were um, fortunate enough, we had a couple of guys with water, I've got a water trailer with pump and so on, another mm -hmm. one we borrowed from up the road. And Stoles with a U. Yeah. And um, Ash down here at his place, yeah. Ray Butterworth, uh, Steve from the pub, and a few other helpers, and uh, sort of formulated a bit of a plan, mm -hmm. and uh, and we're able to sort of attack a little bit of it anyway, yeah. and on this grassland here, and do the best we could yeah. to save some buildings and yeah. some infrastructure, and uh, to keep a few people safe, I guess. See, one of the things that I know about what the fire did for the community is, in many ways, it brought us all together. But it's almost as though here in Collins Road, that whole thing of that that intense closeness seems to be almost highlighted here because of the mm. the very nearness that you all had to each other and to the common experience. There's a, probably a few factors in that. In, in this particular road, that's sort of a recently subdivided uh, large property, and we've all bought small holdings here. And because we're all starting from scratch, yeah. we've got to know each other. Um, whereas perhaps if you're one new in in, in a big group, yeah. you might sort of have that connection. But also, um, yeah, we've spent a bit of time to get off the fire of that, having a beer and a yap and helping yeah. each other out with this or that. Yep. Um, we've got some good solid sort of fellas and um, and their partners, of course. And I, I think too, like especially like now we've been through that, you you know mm. who yeah. who's going to be right next to you yeah. if you know them there. They're not going to. Um, they're not going to go, well, you know, if and when, it's, it's how we're going to do it, not if we're going to do it. Yeah. And that's great, you just, you know, 100%. And that's a bond that'll uh, we go through life. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I can appreciate that. Yeah, it's, it's, you never, never know. Those, I don't think that sort of feeling until you've been through an experience like that yeah. with people. And then it's like having a few more brothers, I reckon. You know, <laughs> that's the yeah. way I see it. Um, yeah. but even perhaps more than that or different than that, I don't know. Yeah. Just perhaps. Um, just been able to rely on the bike next year, 100 yeah. percent. Know what he's going to do and how Essential, he's going to do. Essential, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. yeah and you, you blokes seem to have developed that bond. I mean, whenever I see any of his round the place, you're as thick as these, aren't you? Yeah. Well, look, we all share common interests. You know, there's um, horses and cattle and yeah. uh, the land in general, a bit of hunting and fishing. Um, a few of us are tradies. Um, um, so yeah, look, we, we like to sort of do things ourselves and for ourselves. Yeah. And we can get a few together. Yeah. Makes light work. You know, yeah. Whether it's growing blackberries or, or or moving cattle up from one place to another. Yeah. You know. Many hands make light work. Yeah, it's a social thing too, isn't <laughs> and it? And then you know? can all have a beer. We all have a beer <laughs> afterwards or a barbie or talk a lot of rubbish, you know. But yeah, it's a social thing too. Yeah, and that's that's a big part of it. You know, it's a bit of an excuse to uh, oh, you know, we're big cattle must we push half a dozen critters up the road. Yeah. That's an excuse to waste half a day yakking. And <laughs> so, so I've got a question to both of you. Um, you know, uh, communities that confront bushfire risk. Wh what's your message in terms of getting to know your neighbours? To oh. go and visit them. <laughs> it's got to be absolutely imperative. Yeah. It's better to know a lot about the phone trees and things like that in place. Look, I was fortunate, fortunate to go through a bit of the fires in uh, 03. In the oh, up in the north east. Made up there in the north east. Not horrendous, and I got there just after they lost one property. But I was able to um, to sort of help in um, that aftermath and, and see how the people up there had stuck together and survived it.
that's right. <laughs> and yeah, it's different here to say, um, you know, in a, a more residential area, but certainly in the more rural or semi-rural areas, you got to be a bit more self-sufficient. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different in Melbourne. Um, yeah. But certainly for me, there's, there's, I feel there's a very strong element that there's, there's two things that have got to be considered. The, the whole thing you're talking about working together, so that if you're you know, building a shed, Ash will come up and Styles will come up, whatever, or if Ash is doing it, you know, I've given him a hand with his house. But, so mm. there's this business of working together, but there also seems to me to be a really important element of celebrating together as well. Certainly yeah. since the fire, every opportunity this community's had to get together and have a party and oh, enjoy each other's company. We've all grabbed with both hands, oh, haven't we? Sure. It's Look, very important. There's a much wider than, than just, say, the, the business <coughs> here in Colin Gray. There's just a um, great community. Um, some of the great celebrations we had Australia Day. Yeah. Memorable occasions where you just get everyone turns out. Yeah. Um, even um, the memorials, which are not the, the happiest of occasions in some ways, but certainly a great get-together after that. Yeah, um, yeah I don't know. It's, it's the sort of people. Yeah. Um, type of people that, that move out a little bit from, from where it's so populated. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's a different sort of breed. Yeah. And you'd find that in any country area, in any country in the world probably, yeah. mm -hmm. I think. But um, maybe if there was some advice we'd give to people who who might be confronting something like this about getting together, part of the answer, I believe, is that that community needs to learn how to, how to celebrate absolutely anything it can find to celebrate. You know? We do Australia Day here every year, and it's a, it's a, it's a bloody brilliant day, isn't it? It's a pearl. It is, the family day. Kids turn up, and everyone running around, and it's a great day. Um, so, yeah, find reasons to celebrate each other's company. Um, find reasons to celebrate you know, the place you live in. Um, you, get to, you get to get to know people, yeah. trust people. Um, and from there, like, it, it extends on you. You don't mind um, asking for a hand. That's know, right, I've learnt that. For a fiver mm. or whatever, or someone to look after your place, or yep. check on your cattle, or yeah. whatever. And it's hard to yeah. do if you don't know the person, but it gets easier as you get to know them, isn't it? Oh, look, yeah, and you've got to trust. Yeah. You've got to trust people until they prove themselves untrustworthy. Um, yeah. You can't be suspicious of people at all, no. all the time, otherwise, you know, there's just nothing. Yeah. yeah. Especially nothing. if it's raining, huh? Yeah. Oh, let's get out of it. Yeah. Let's get out of it. <laughs>